Right, that was a good job that I checked then. Because I hadn't pressed the record button again. Very naughty. Right, it's the uh, 18th of May 2017. This is video two. And I'm in a field of something. I don't know what these plants are. It seems to be going in a straight line. And there's the St. Peter's Church at Market Bosworth. There's this lovely spire. There's quite a few spire churches I notice here. They said it's can take about quite a long time. Yeah, if you imagine five miles, that means I'd have to walk from Barrow to West Huntsville, I expect. Well, what I'm doing, I'm getting a bit of a feel. I might not do the whole thing. I mean, do you know, I brought all my summer clothes with me, shorts, um, and it's even before coming away, I mean, I've got everything out. We haven't had the weather yet. We haven't had the weather. This seems the most direct route, doesn't it? I do like circular, though. But I'm more worried about possible thunder. They said there could be thunder and heavy showers in the afternoon. So I got over to the park at the battlefield by 9 o'clock. They don't open till 10. And then I'm going in the shop there to get a couple of souvenirs, including some Richard III ale. That's the plan today. But um, like I said, the weather's temperamental. I've got to carry an awful lot of stuff on me back because um, they do warn about not leaving any valuables in the car at all. So basically, I've, I've got my clothes, everything is valuable to me. All my souvenirs. I can't cart everything about. That's why I might not go the whole way. I'm just really having a bit of a recce. I do like circular walks, though. Like I say, my rucksack's weighing a ton. Absolute ton. Let's have another look back. I said, I can see those flags from the caravan park where I was. And they're really, really tiny. So whether I go the whole way is another thing. They said it could get boggy. I wonder if anyone was killed in this field. Like skirmishes, because apparently they did hunt them down. They did hunt them down. Right, what we're doing here, we're just going to see what it looks like. It's not too bad, is it? I've brought a big bottle of water. I, I, I've um, I've got a little picnic because I have got to drive back to Somerset tonight. But I didn't want to come all the way here and not go on a bit of a walk. I mean, I did the the small battlefield walk. You couldn't really see anything. The whatever plant that was was really tall the other day and I couldn't actually see anything at all. There's a church still. Of course I'm not going to the church you see. I'm not going to the church. See there's a farm there. I bet you there's a road over there. Yep, 
you just got to take yourself back 500 years, even there's been other battles over the centuries. But Richard III was the last English king to die on the battlefield of England. The last of the Plantagenets. And Henry Tudor came along. Of course, the thing is with walks, they want you to see as much of the countryside as possible. So what they do, they um, take you on a, what I call a wild goose chase. Obviously the farmers don't want you walking through their fields. But I, like I am slightly apprehensive because no one could guarantee the weather today. I mean, it's very cloudy. It's very high up cloud. But if I can just do a bit, just to get an impression of the countryside around here, mainly. I mean, further over where the campsite, there were cows, but you didn't have to go in the cow field. It's just to get an idea of bearings. Now, that all that over there, I think that's the park. I can see a sign over there as well. That's the park. I walked around a small part of that park um, in the rain. I couldn't do any videoing. I, I might have done a little bit in between showers. Um, I ought to have a souvenir, really, a stone. Let's see. That one there. Nice one, actually. That's the one I want down there. That'll be a nice looking stone. I'll take two. I'll take two stones to remind me of, uh, and I'll label them. They're coming back to Somerset. I'll give them a clean when I get home. I mean, people are so proud of their country, you know. Um, People are so proud of their county, I should say. Right, now we're walking like a change direction again in a minute. Like I said, normally I stay for... Well, this will be the third day, actually. I wouldn't have done too badly. But I, I normally do four days. And... Um, not too, I'll tell you why it's not too muddy. It's because it's been so dry, it's just run off. It hasn't formed glurg. Um, so, so I'm okay doing this walk. I did want to do this way, so... But I didn't want to... I mean, I'm not on the site all day. I didn't want to pay 25 quid. I mean, last, I haven't been sleeping. I've slept right the first night. Um, and then, of course, the mould had... Not the mould, the moss had grown in the um, ridges of around where the window frames have been built, put in. And, of course, if you, have the, if you don't clean the moss out, it acts like um, osmosis. Um, and it hasn't done it since. But it, what it happened, I, which I didn't know... Um, the moss had been absorbing the water and then it has been draining onto the inside of the van. It's not the roof leaking. It's very important to clean your moss out. So I spent a bit of time doing that because then I had um, to put towels down because 
part of my bed was wet because of it. The sponge inside the cushions on one particular side were very wet indeed. I left it exposed in the day when I was out, but of course there was no sun. But it did dry, it did make a difference. I unzipped it and was able to dry it out for the second night. But of course the other thing is, my van is full of insects. Um, she's quite old now, so she'll have like 26 years of creatures living in there. It does make me nervous. Because I've, I've been attacked by spiders, not attacked, but they've been abseiling down on me in the night before now. And I, I've seen some big ugly ones. Not recently, there was one in the toilet. Of course, we keep worrying about these false widows. So I haven't slept very well, really. And it was quite cold last night. It was quite cold. I, um... I could have... I, did, I mean, I took the electric blanket. I didn't put it on or anything, though. No. I didn't put it on. This is just a little bit of Sheila's narration of her adventures in Leicestershire. Here we come up to a yellow pole. There's a lot of history here, loads. Even the campsite I was on was used by soldiers 500 years ago. And there's even one definitely buried there by one of the poles, apparently. The owner told me that. <sighs> yeah, I can imagine horses charging, because it wouldn't be an old fence like... It wouldn't have hedges or nothing. Not in those days. They wouldn't. They did have arable land. They did farm. I don't think the enclosure movement was in by then. This could have been all open plan. Everything we see, well, obviously the basic land's the same, but the trees, the bushes, the plants. Yeah, like I said, I'm going to get as far as the entrance. I'm hoping to get as far as the park. Then I'm going to pro I'll probably turn back if I can't find a circular by then. There's a marker over there. I wonder what that's about. Maybe there's a stream there. Don't know what that is. Funny when I'm out, I'd never see anybody. <sighs> right, over and out for now, folks.